Cheers, everybody. Today we are talking about The Lord of the Rings Sketchbook by Alan Lee. I have this book for a while now, and uh, it's time to, to share it with you, to flip through it. Um, I think a lot of you guys probably have this already. I mean, it's Alan Lee, right? So uh, it's very likely that you have the book. If not, uh, I'm going to show you why you should have it. And if you are into fantasy art, and if you're into pencils, and if you're into Tolkien, then that's the book to have. Uh, let's let's dive into it. Um, a dust jacket. Not a fan for the flip through. I will take it off. Uh, I could, I could probably rant about why I don't like dust jackets uh, all the time. I won't do it because I already did. Uh, all right. Yeah, of course it starts with, with a map. paper published by Harper Collins in 2005 a forward by Ian McKellen So yes, this is not um, this is not just uh, an art book or a sketchbook as it is. It's it's with text, um, a lot of explanations, a lot of uh, process. It's super interesting if you are into the entire mythology and since the thought process. Oh, Tom Tom Bombadil. Um, if you into, if you into into the entire process, if you want to learn about sketching and if you want to understand more, um, this is this is worth a lot. This is gold uh, because everything is explained in here, um, and the designs are just just really awesome. It's it's kind of stupid to just say like awesome, but I mean it. It is awesome. It is great work. And you really should get this book. Like this here, for example. I love it. The entire explanation of how everything came together is here. Um, what a great artist. Architecture, creature design, character design. Total understanding of light rendering when something needs to be rough and when not so delicate and rough at the same time. Oh, stop now. Probably sound like an idiot or like a fanboy, which sometimes is the same, but uh, it's just it's just great. I, I don't regret getting this book, so get it. That's the thing, right, with Lord of the Rings. It feels like when I watch the movies for the first time, it was like, I don't know, like 10-ish years ago, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was not 10 years ago. Or if, it, if, it's, if it's longer ago when I read the books and um, because it was. 
right? It was ages ago. But for whatever reason, the movies uh, or everything that has to do with um, what is connected to the movies just doesn't feel that long ago. I don't think the Hobbit movies are the reason for that. Um, because I'm just really trying to forget that I ever saw them. But um, I think everything else definitely matters in that sense. Because the kind of, it's one of it's one of those movies that just stay with you. I think Dune will probably have the same effect on me ten years from now or twenty years from now. But um, the the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the waiting each year for them to come out for the next one. I'm not gonna forget this. Maybe that's why it still will remain fresh. See that? All right, we're almost through it. That's uh, that's been quite the ride. One hundred and eighty. What is it? 86 pages. And uh, I really don't remember what I paid. I have no idea. No, it's 80. What is it? 190. 190 pages. I have no idea what I paid back then. But, um, but it's worth all the money. And uh, I really think you guys should, should get that book. Alan Lee's artwork has a beauty and lyricism about it. His art captured what I hope to capture with a film. That's what Peter Jackson said. And I think he did a pretty good job. I'm a fan. I know that. All right. That's uh, a little flip through through the Lord of the Rings sketchbook by Alan Lee. Um, should be available on Amazon, I guess. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna add some links to you um, for you guys. Um, sorry for bashing the horror, uh, Hobbit movies. Horror, I was about to say horror movies. Sorry for bashing the uh, Hobbit movies, but that's just my opinion. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, there are more books to discover. And uh, until then, goodbye. Mm -hmm.